Big A, little a, three to Vernon. Um, this was per global credit research on 3 September 2014, and to date it hasn't changed. And they give a number of reasons for the, the, the strengths, include um, moderately sized tax base benefits, with sound financial position with liquidity and reserve growth, low net pension liabilities. And of course, they talk about the challenges, restricted tax base to the Highlands Act, limited revenue resi ability due to statutory tax levy cap, and exposure to modest uh, enterprise risk. Uh, I can have this made available to council members if they want. So I just thought I'd let you know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I have a resolution after since the auditor's presentation has been completed. Resolution 15-109, <clears throat> the 2014 annual audit. This resolution acknowledges receipt of the audit and states that each member has at a minim minimum read the section mark comments and recommendations. May I have a motion to adopt resolution 15-109? Motion. So, motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Kadish. Any questions or comments on this? Uh, I just want to reiterate that please make sure we see the clerk and we sign the necessary sheet attesting to this following the meeting. May I have a roll call, please? Yes. Council yes. Council yes. Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council President Rizzuto? Yes. Motion carries to pass this resolution. Resolution 15-109. With regards to the audit, Resolution 15-110, it's a corrective action plan for the 2014 audit. Pursuant to state fiscal affairs law, the CFO is to prepare a correction action plan for all findings. There is one recommendation to have a central cashier. At this time, the costs of the same do not outweigh the benefits in the logistics. This resolution approves the corrective action plan as submitted by the CFO. May I have a motion to place this on the floor for consideration and motion. discussion? Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Wetzel. Any question or comment, discussion on this? It's the same one we normally get every year. Uh, roll call, please. Council Member Kadish? Yes. Council Member Lynch? Yes. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council President Rosito? Yes. Motion carries to adopt resolution 15 Thank you. There are no uh, first readings of proposed ordinances. I'll move to second readings. Ordinance 15-14, an ordinance to authorize acquisition of an easement relating to existing sewer mains from the New, New York Susquehanna and West, Western Railway Corporation. The township owns a sanitary sewer line which is operated by the MUA. A portion of this line runs along the railroad tracks owned by the New York Susquehanna and Western Railway Corporation. The previous owner, United Water, had negotiated a license along this property for $8,200 per year with an escalation clause, meaning each year the cost increases. The township has found that over time it would be more financially beneficial to simply purchase the easement than pay it out yearly. Uh, may I have a motion to open the meeting to the public for a hearing on 1514. Motion. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Second. Seconded by Mr. Kadish. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Meeting is open to the public for a discussion and comments on Ordinance 15-14. If you have any comments regarding that ordinance, please step forward and you may address the council on it. Seeing that no one is coming forward, I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public for motion. Ordinance 1514. Motion made by Mr. Second. Lynch. Seconded by Mr. Kadish. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. May I have a motion to adopt 1514 for consideration and adoption for discussion? Motion. Motion made Second. by Mr. Lynch. Seconded by Mr. Kadish. 
motion is on the floor for discussion. Any comments? Questions? If not, I'll ask for a roll call, please. Councilmember Kavish? Yes. Councilmember Lynch? Yes. Councilmember Murphy? Yes. Councilmember Wetzel? Yes. Council President Rizzuto? Yes. Motion carries to adopt Ordinance 15-14. Thank you. Ordinance 15-19, ordinance to provide and determine the salary for the mayor of the township of Vernon. This ordinance provides for an increase in the salary of the mayor in the amount of $6,000. You may recall this was discussion in the budget hearing earlier this year. May I have a motion to open the public hearing for ordinance 15-19? Motion. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Wetzel. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The floor is open for comment from the public regarding this ordinance. If you have any questions, comments, please come forward on it. My name is Bonnie Rubin, and I'm from Highland Lakes. And um, I would like to address this ordinance. I did write a statement. This is the Vernon Township Council's third attempt to raise Mayor Murata's salary. In November 2012, a township-wide referendum overturned the Council's approval of a $50,000 annual salary for Mayor Murata. And again, in 2014, the Council approved a $70,000 salary, which was rescinded at the Mayor's request after petitioners forced a second ballot referendum for voters to decide the outcome of this ordinance. This latest ordinance, introduced on May 28th, is the third time the council is requesting a raise for our mayor and contains the exact language of the 2014 one except for the dollar amount which at this time is for only thirty six thousand dollars salary it also states that the mayor's post is a full-time one and has been held by mayor Morata since july 1st 2011 and declares he should be compensated retroactively to january 1st of this year this most recent salary ordinance characterizes Murata's present $30,000 salary as an insufficient remuneration for the mayor's full-time service and is not comparable to compensation paid in Sussex County and Northern New Jersey for executive services of, his, of this scope and responsibility. If Mayor Murata's job is as demanding as this ordinance states, then why the request for such a small amount of compensation? The Faulkner Act doesn't state whether a mayor's position is part or full-time. Whether Mayor Murata works 80 hours a week or not is irrelevant. He is not, he is an elected official. He is not a hired employee. At a candidate's forum moderated by the League of Women Voters held at the McAfee Firehouse in 2011, candidate Vic Murata said the following, I quote, I don't believe our town needs or is ready for a full-time mayor. I believe in one step at a time. Good management says that you should go into any situation assess the people, assess the situation, and make your decisions from there. Can I do that as a part-time mayor? Absolutely, he said. Although he campaigned on the premise that he would be satisfied with $500 a week for this part-time position, he must have changed his mind when he asked for his first pay hike several weeks after he was elected. So what is the nitty-gritty of this meager salary request made just four months before the next election? Obviously, it is not to accrue a huge sum of money. By all appearances, it looks as if passage of this ordinance will validate that the Vernon Mayor's post is a full-time one. This is not in keeping with the objectives of the Faulkner Act. Passage of this ordinance could dissuade eligible candidates who would prefer a part-time position so that they may continue their present livelihood. Perhaps Mayor Murata could delegate some of his work to his associates to lessen his workload. In any event, all references to the term full term, full time, should be stricken from the present ordinance. Thank you. Are there any other comments? <clears throat> Gary Martinson, Vernon. In the beginning of this ordinance, all of the first four whereas relate to tasks the mayor's job may entail and that a township can establish salaries, wages, and compensations to its officers and employees. The problem, however, is that the mayor is an elected official, and technically what he is getting is a stipend. He neglected, however, to add a whereas that states that the township establishes the mayoral position as a full-time one. 
That is because our code that is because our code doesn't. You are in essence trying to ride around our laws to provide extra compensation and declare via an ordinance that the mayor was a full-time position simply because an individual worked many hours as part of transitioning to a new form of government and as part of setting up new positions for others in the township. Everyone who ran acknowledged that due to the changeovers and the items on the plate, it would require lots of work and it would be at least a full time, require lots of hours for at least a year, perhaps longer. However, following that, that the new government found its feet and likewise the new position would be made part of job requirements would probably not require a full time commitment. Indeed, the mayor on August 2nd, 2011 stated, I did state I would request $500 a week for being a part-time mayor. As you know, I'm doing the mayor's job more than full-time and happy to do so. I think reasonable people realize I'm doing it for them, not for the money, but for the love of our great community, which is what an elected official in my, I believe should be. This year, we've been getting to that point where we're transitioned over. Indeed, the mayor no longer attends meetings. He's able to get away for days and the clerk can handle his job. He's taken vacations that are beyond what a full-time employee would have earned after only a year or two in a job. The MUA is in place. Things are settling down. So there has been less required, which means it now isn't, now truly isn't a full-time position. Though if one wants to put in lots of hours, they can, but do it for love and not the almighty dollar or benefits. So, whereas the duly elected mayor of Vernon has served at a full-time position since July 1st, 2011 with annual compensation of 30,000 is false. There is no full-time position in our code, only responsibilities which one might do in 10 hours and another might do in 100 hours. But the position is not defined as full-time. You need to write an ordinance to modify our administrative code and not what is being attempted here. Whereas annual compensation is insufficient remuneration for the mayor's full-time service and not comparable to compensation paid in Sussex County for executives, administrative exe Wrong again. Go back to his love and elected position with a stipend. That's what it is. Whereas the township council recognizes an adjustment in the mayor's compensation is necessary and appropriate commensurate with the critical executive administration responsibilities as a full-time position. Wrong again, his position is not full-time simply because he chose or needs to put in those hours. Plus, what of the next mayor? You are writing this ordinance geared to an individual, that individual's actions and not to our laws or to the position as done in other townships with this form of government. Last, the ordinance speaks of his responsibilities. Yet our own codes and state statutes were violated. The law was broken. Additionally, our codes were misrepresented or stated in a misleading manner to you and to department heads. <coughs> were other things also likewise misrepresented to us? Sorry, you can give them a $6,000 bonus if you want to, but nothing else. Thank you. Are there any other comments? Seeing no other comments, people coming forward, I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public on this issue. Motion. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Second. Wetzel? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 15-19 for consideration by the council and passage? We'll make that motion. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? I'll second it. Second by Mr. Wetzel. Any comments or questions by the council? I have comments. I actually um, have to agree with uh, what Mr. Mortensen said. He said that this uh, ordinance is being written for an individual, not a position. And actually, that that's actually what I look at. I mean, it, it, it appears that we're actually <coughs> writing a resume for the mayor. And because, I mean, I, I'm not actually sure who wrote this, this ordinance, but I know John didn't write it because it mirrors the one from last year. 
and Kevin Kelly said he didn't write it. I don't think Lauren was here at that time. So I'm not exactly sure where this ordinance came from, but a lot of this, this, the, this information, as I said last time, you want to give him a raise, give him a raise. But all of this information in here, um, talking about the number of employees, talking about us, um, that, it, that it's uh, not, not comparable compensation paid in Sussex County. Well, you know, we live in New Jersey. Maybe we should be looking at this compensation based on New Jersey. And it would just seem to be convenient to try to isolate this to Sussex County because we have no other uh, townships in Sussex County with this form of government. And as you're well aware, I brought the information out here a year ago, a year and a half ago, of all the other towns that have the same form of government. You have mayors working full time, part time, have any hours they need, and they're getting the job done, and they're getting paid 8000 they're getting paid 12000 because they are public servants. They are serving their community. This is not a job. He is not an employee. And regardless of what you put, it, it doesn't even, and by the way, I think, are we now up to 120 employees? This says 119. Are we now up to 120? I think we just hired somebody else. Um, it's just, uh, you know, I, I, think, I think some members of this council are trying to get the public to believe that this mayor is a full-time employee. I don't believe, John, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe that this ordinance states that this position is going to be full-time. It just states that some of the council are believing that he has been working full-time. What's your interpretation? What's your legal t interpretation of it? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not. The, the ordinance says what the ordinance says. Right, the ordinance says that it, it's saying that the council recognized, but it's not saying that any future mayor has to be full time or, or anything of the sort. So it's pretty much written for an individual, like Gary said, like a resume. And I just find fault with the council trying to actually adopt something like this. Like I said, you want to put something through with an increase? Go ahead and do it. But to add all of this nonsense in here, I find it to be negligent on your part. Any other comments? Yes, for roll call vote. Councilmember McAdish? No. Councilmember Lynch? Yes. Councilmember Murphy? No. Councilmember Wessel? Yes. Councilmember Rizzuto? Yes. Carried to adopt Ordinance 1519. Thank you. Ordinance 1520, an ordinance amending the salary ordinance for non union employees. <coughs> ordinance 1520 is similar to four, Ordinance 14 04 from last year. It establishes the salary ranges for each non-union positions pursuant to New Jersey statute and case law. May I have a motion to open the uh, floor for public hearing on 15-20? I'll make that motion. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Wetzel. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Floor is open to comments on 15-20. Gary Martinson, I'll save you two trips. I'll do 15, 20, and 22 because they're related to me. No, please stay with 15, 20. I can say what I'd like to say, which I just did. I think that um, should be as ranges. So an extension of a range to a top what the top is to a new top is feasible. However, given our economy is still not recovered, the cost of living to seniors and others has not followed suit, and that raises in the private sector are still not really forthcoming. Giving blanket movement to all these positions to me is wrong. It's at least perceptually to me shows a disregard to struggling families, including some of the 1,440 that left. Thank you. Any further comment? This non-union employees, does that include uh, Michael stay. Rubin, Highland Lakes, New Jersey? Does that include every councilman in this room? 
Does that include the mayor? No, the mayor's, the mayor's ordinance was just passed. Just want to clarify it for the public and for myself. So it's not going to create some sort of loophole, legal loophole for the mayor or the councilman as employees. Thank you. Any other comments? This ordinance uh, reflects yet again increased salary ranges as well as new positions. This administration under the mayor has steadily increased the, member, the number of Vernon employees as well as salaries. In 2010, we had only 105 employees. And with the declining population, we now have 119 and climbing. <clears throat> A quick review reveals in an excess of $300,000 in salary increases since Vic took office in 2011. Our municipality is the only municipality in Sussex County that has grown our government and its costs exponentially while seeing that declining population. Please stop the upward spiraling cost to Vernon taxpayers and carefully consider this ordinance. While we're discussing finances, interestingly enough, the, um, the auditor has been on board for about six years and he forgot to say best practices is to change the auditor every two to three years. Thank you. Any other comments? None, I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public on ordinance 15 -20. Motion. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Wetzel. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 15-20 to place it on the floor for discussion and consideration? Motion. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Wetzel. Uh, point of order. Certainly. Uh, Mr. Lynch um, excused himself when this was introduced. Mm -hmm. so how can he now introduce it? You're absolutely right. And I did not take the oath of office for fire safety or fire police. I am not employed by the fire police and I won't be until January. You abstained at the introduction. Right. Because you said you were going to be a fire police. Right. And I didn't understand if I was going to be in violation. <laughs> so you were not. Can somebody make a, uh, you know, determination after they have the meeting? I. You're the you one. It's, problem? Yeah, it's your, you're the one that said you had a conflict. I thought I did, and then I found out I didn't. And you didn't because you don't. The only conflict don't. is right now. Yeah, right. not obviously that you've created. No, I did not. Oh, yes, you did. I, I thought I was in conflict, and I found out that I wasn't. Are you? A, What's the problem? Are you a police? No, or? I am not. And there should be no conflict. Actually, could I just ask? Do we have a policy on the this fire police? Is there a policy in place? State of New Jersey ones. No, 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 the township. The township. Does we have a policy in place? I mean, how could we, how could we have actually a position that we don't even have a policy in, in, in uh, Vernon Township on? John? I mean, we, don't, we haven't created, I mean, the first I heard of this was when it appeared on the ordinance when we had it in front of us. When I asked what that was, Brian was kind enough to explain it to us, but we don't have a policy in place. So I'm asking, how can we create or pay a position that we, we haven't recognized? I didn't see it in the budget. The first I heard of it was seeing this. It is through the fire officials office. Not we, through the fire officials, but we don't have anything. You're saying it's through the fire officials. I don't know, we weren't. We position we created. We weren't, we weren't given anything. How could, we be, how could we be voting to pay for something, to allocate money to something that we haven't even created? If I may, it was in the police budget. In the police budget? Yes. Okay. Then why is it in the police budget or is it the fire official? It's in the police budget. 
And what are the duties of the fire police? What are his responsibilities or hers? I believe the police chief has uh, put together paperwork um, to that effect. But we have not created some, any type of policy on I it. don't know that to be a fact, but we will negotiate. We will talk to the police chief to get the. Oh, we'd uh, like I, to see. We, we'd like to see something more about this, should this be, position. This should be postponed or tabled till we can actually be able to see what this position entails. I don't see. I see no reason to have this tabled since there is no conflict because we don't have. It has nothing to do now with the conflict. It has to do with seeing us voting on a position that we haven't seen. We haven't seen a policy. You just want to create stuff and you want the taxpayers to pay for it. It's got there to stop. There is no one. Just so you know, there is no one in that position at this time last last meeting it was Brian but like I said I mean I guess that's a changing position we should just table this until we get to see exactly what it entails that's my motion to table it till we see what's going on motion with this. has been made to table may I have a second a roll a second please second second by mr. Lynch may we no, have I did not <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize, Mr. Kadish. Um, we have a roll call, please. And I, it's to table it to the next table meeting. The table to the next meeting. Councilmember Kadish. Yes. Councilmember Lynch. No. Councilmember Murphy. Yes. Councilmember Wetzel. No. Councilmember Rizzuto. No. Moving on that, we have a motion on the floor to adopt 15-20. Is, no, is there further comment on this? If not, I'll ask for a roll call. Council Member Kadish? No. Council Member Lynch? Yes. Council Member Murphy? No. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council Member Rizzuto? Yes. Motion carries to adopt ordinance 15-20. And I'd like the record to reflect that we do not have any policy in order in, in place, please. Ordinance 15-21, an ordinance amending Chapter 142 of the Code of Township of Vernon titled Alcoholic Beverages regarding the number of licenses. The Township of Vernon currently has eight liquor licenses for retail consumption. This ordinance corrects the Township Code to reflect the licenses currently in the Township. This ordinance does not add a new license. May I have a motion to open the floor for the public Some hearing move. on this particular second. ordinance. Motion made by Mr. Kadish. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Lynch. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Meeting, the floor is open for comment on 15-21. Uh, Mary Martinson Vernon. I realize this is supposedly correcting uh, our ordinances, but I wonder if it isn't a bit discriminatory uh, and allows for rewarding licenses to a particular type of entity. Uh, perhaps that's what the change in statement is, but it concerns me that it's it's so specific and that by the net by that nature it might limit potential for businesses that might wish to come here because they know that if the hotel, then they can add extra licenses. It, that's the way I read it, versus nobody else can. Thank you. Thank you. Any additional comments? May I, seeing no one else coming forward, may I have a motion to close the meeting to the public? Move. Moved by Mr. Second. Kadish. Seconded by Mr. Lynch. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. May I have a motion to adopt 15-21? So moved. Consideration? Moved by Mr. Kadish. Second. Seconded by Mr. Lynch. Are there any comments from the council? Questions? A uh, question I have. I know that this is correcting the record, but do, um, when the other, when this eighth license was established, is there a, a record indicating when and for whom it was um, put in place for I, I mean I, I just you know uh, like I said I know as far as more, the record keeping shows that there's now there's really eight and our records only showed seven just wondering if it had actually gone through 
for, for any our particular. Our ordinance only showed seven. Right, our ordinance showed, but it didn't show for who, who that last one was uh, obtained the for. The last one that I saw, and didn't that's know. from what I could tell, is please note that records can be purged mm -hmm. um, after six or seven years that they can purge the liquor license record. But it seems like your eighth license appeared in 2002. And um, so that's what it looks like to me from what I'm looking at. So prior to that, you only have seven. Okay, thank you. Thank you. May I have a roll call? Councilmember Kadish? Yes. Councilmember Lynch? Yes. Councilmember Murphy? Yes. Councilmember Russell? Yes. Council President Rizzuto? Yes. May I encourage you to adopt Ordinance 1521? An ordinance amending the salary ordinance for a non union employee, Ordinance 15 22, similar to Ordinance 14 04 from last year and Ordinance 15 20 from this year, establishes the salary ranges for a non union employee. This ordinance is for the position of municipal clerk pursuant to New Jersey statute and case law. May I have a motion to open the public hearing for ordinance 15-22? Motion. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? Second. Second, second by Mr. Wetzel. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Floor is open for comments from the public on 15-22. If you'd like to address the council on this issue, please come forward. Seeing no one coming forward, I'll ask for a motion to close public hearing on Ordinance 15 22. Move. Moved by Mr. Kadish. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Wetzel. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. May I have a motion to adopt 15 22? So move. Moved by Mr. Kadish. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Murphy. Are there any comments from the council regarding this particular uh, issue, this ordinance? John, um, on the salary range ordinances, when increases are given, the council will be voting on resolutions. Is it just for the clerk's position or is it for all of the positions? All positions. For all positions. So, actually, it opens up a question if, and I'm not sure if the information is correct, but if the business administrator received an increase, not sure, um, we've, I don't recall us ever seeing any resolutions in the past because we had a salary range ordinance last year. So, would we have to look back? at any increases that may have come through last year because that's when we inst we had a salary range ordinance i mean if we if there were if there were increases which i'm not sure of i haven't looked at payroll records and if they were given based on our budget the council should have passed resolutions and we never did uh, I, i'm I just I what, what's your question we have a salary range ordinance that just passed, right? This the, for the non-union employees. And, and if any of these employees receive an increase, the council has to pass a resolution. Correct. Okay, so what I'm saying is last year, the same thing happened. I know you were not here last year. You, you, but you're, you're asking me to speculate about I'm something that I I'm not asking you to speculate. I'm asking you if increases went through last year based on a salary range ordinance and we did not pass resolutions where does that leave where does that leave that should we be passing resolutions after the fact or were those increases not done properly I, I would have if to they go, were just done at the mayor's discretion I would have to go look at the history of what was done and I could give you advice on it but I can't I can't speculate as to what was done last year what the procedure was there's alternate procedures with respect to adopting salaries and there's also procedures through the local finance board some of which have been implemented by rules and regulations and by the local finances board own admission some of which simply haven't been uh, implemented in the last three years right but that's i'm just going by with what you're wh with what you're saying based on ordinance 15-20 and 15-22 when these when and if these employees receive increases that are reflective in the budget the council has to pass a resolution if that happened last year we never passed any resolutions and that's that's what I'm questioning. Okay. 
Thank you. Is there any other comments? Roll call, please. Council Member Kadish? Yes. Council Member Lynch? No. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Wessel? After much deliberation, I'm changing my vote to no. Oh, you, yeah. Council Member Rizzuto? <laughs> no. Motion does not carry to pass ordinance 15. Thank you. Mayoral appointments, uh, resolution 15-11, the appointment to the Environmental Commission of Dale Disney. Mm. This resolution acknowledges the appointment of Dale Disney to the Environmental Commission for a term to expire 12-31-2016. May I have a motion to adopt 15-111? I'll make that motion. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. I'll second. Seconded by Mr. Wetzel. Is this replacing Phyllis? Pfeiffer? Was she on the environment? No, who's on the Environmental Commission? Do you know who this is replacing? It was an empty seat. Are there any other comments? Roll call. Councilmember Kadish? Pass. Councilmember Lynch? Yes. Councilmember Murphy? Yes. Councilmember Wessel? Yes. Council President Rizzuto? Yes. Motion carries to adopt resolution of 111. Thank you. If Mr. Kadish passes, you come back to him for a vote? Are you abstaining? No, no. pass passes a different term. Sure. Yeah. Passes a term that if he passes, you go back. It go, you go down the roll call and come back to him for a vote. Yes. Thank you. Resolution one 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 still passes. Check and see if you want it. Uh, council comments, Mrs. Murphy. Uh, let's see. I have a few. After much deliberation, I have a few comments. Unbelievable. Um, actually, I'd like to speak a little bit about the bonding, and um, because I had the bonding that we 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 did vote on, uh, because I've been asked uh, recently about bonding that the council approved. Uh, residents are concerned that Vernon Township is continuing to borrow too much money. I happen to agree. There have been letters to the editor defending both sides of this issue. Let me just say that I believe there's some truth to both sides. The money being borrowed is going directly towards the items purchased, like police cars, computers, guardrails, and paving of roads. But whatever happened to pay as you go? All I hear is money is cheap because low interest rates, so let's just borrow. What I learned is that we can roll over uh, old bonding and lower the interest rates, but continuing to borrow is not the answer. At some point, all this money has to be paid back and likely at higher interest rates. When I voiced my opinion about wanting to put the cost for police cars in the operating budget instead of the capital budget at the work session, Council Member Wetzel and Council President Rizzuto defended borrowing new money. Borrowing money and bonding is just one way Mayor Murata has avoided raising taxes. That's my one thing. I'd like to go on to the Merit Award program and the committee that Vernon formed. The mayor is bragging across the state about replacing a spend it or lose it approach with incentives for managers. What this means is more cash bonuses for government employees. What I would like to see is the state of New Jersey amend the laws or repeal them that allow cash awards. We have 40A colon 5-31 award programs for local units. It states any local unit shall have the power and authority to make appropriations of money therefore establish and make awards in the form of cash, metal citation certificates, and it goes on. The problem that I have with that is the word cash. We're just not in that type of a situation to be handing out cash to any employees. Then we also have 40A colon 9-18, an awards program and appropriations. It states, the board of chosen freeholders of any county or the governing body of any municipality may, by resolution, establish an awards program for county or municipal officers and employees. As, uh, when you look at this, you could say, gee, the county could do it, the freeholders could do it, the town could do it. We'll be giving bonuses to everybody at some point. But again, it goes on and it says here 
that, that these bonuses may be in the form of cash. I think the state needs to look at these laws and have them either amended or, or repealed. And I'd also like to thank the 24th District, uh, Senator Orojo's office, for providing this valuable information to the council, because this was something that we actually received from them. Um, and then I'd also like to bring up the pay-to-play ordinance that Andover has. Andover adopted a pay-to-play ordinance. It states, whereas the residents in the township of Andover have the right to expect that the exercise and the duties and responsibilities of their elected municipal officials and the township's employees and officials are not influenced by political contributions, and it goes on from there. The residents of Vernon deserve more from their government. I'd like all of you to consider adopting a similar version of this ordinance for Vernon. And I think that's it. Any takers on the ordinance? I brought copies for you if anybody would like to be able to read it. Mr. Kadish, do you have any comments? I take that as a no. <laughs> no, I'll take it. Um, yeah, I'd like to note the passing of, of two friends. One is Albert Compton, um, whose mother taught at Price's Switch School. <coughs> Albert uh, was kind enough to give the Historical Society uh, the children at the school uh, a, a, a kind of uh, look into uh, what his uh, mother had been teaching because she was a resident of Glenwood. And the other person I'd like to uh, just note is that I think we lost the world's greatest jazz musician, Ornette Coleman, he was a good friend. And uh, if you all get a chance to listen to some of his music, look him up on the internet, listen to it. Um, I think he was very influential with lots of artists in this, in the community, in New York. That's my comments. Mr. Lynch. I'll uh, echo what Gary Martinson had brought up, uh, that the fireworks is uh, a, a township event that everybody is looking forward to, and that I... Uh, I ask all the residents to, uh, to participate. It's, a, it's going to be on July 4th this year, and it's going to be a uh, Saturday night. It's going to be great. Thank you. Thank you. And to echo Mr. Lynch's comments about that particular event, please don't rely on the cheap seats, right? If you, uh, <laughs> if you decide to sit outside of the paying area, you're missing out on an awful lot. Because we have rides for the kids there. Uh, not that I'm not uh, part of the fire department, but when I was, we had uh, rides for the kids. We had food, beverages, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Thank you. Mr. Wetzel. No comments. No comments. My comments, I'll be brief, but I would like to address something which was apparently made a big issue this evening as to the mayor's salary increase. On July 16th, we received a decision from Jen Weisenbeck uh, declaring that in our particular form of government, that the mayor is a strong mayor and as such is a full-time uh, individual. I quote, the court finds that the mayor is entitled to health care benefits because he is a full-time employee in the mayor council or strong form of government. He regularly performs specified duties each week of at least 35 hours or more. During oral arguments, plaintiffs conceded that when Mrs. Rinker was the township mayor, she worked an average of 45 hours per week. Plaint I'm that. sorry, please, you're out of order. You're out of yeah, order. Plaintiffs further conceded that since the township changed its form of government, the mayor has more responsibility than Mrs. Rinker and has thus presumably works more hours each week. The court is thus satisfied that the mayor is full-time employee pursuant to Article 3. After completing a three-month probationary period, the mayor applied for township health benefits on October 1, 2011, and his probationary period has lapsed. Secondly, 
in terms of the actual money, um, currently the mayor works, if we go on a 52-week basis, I'll allow 50, 50 weeks um, since the vacation periods are included. Uh, he's making about $12 an hour. If we move to $36,000 a year, it's about $14.40 an hour. This salary, this particular hourly rate is less than that is paid a starting custodian by our school system, uh, which is $21 an hour, and he gets paid vacation. So uh, on that basis, uh, I just thought I'd try and bring this into uh, some type of uh, could you repeat what you said about probationary period? No, that was one. Motion to waiting. adjourn. No, actually, motion. you know what? Um, the motion to the, adjourn the requires. The motion mayor, to adjourn. The mayor, to, the mayor cannot be an employee. The mayor cannot be an employee. Excuse me. The motion to adjourn. Yeah, well, go ahead. You're going to override. You're going to. You're going to yell louder anyway. What's the difference? Oh, on the contrary, I believe you're the one that. No, I don't think so. It's Brian over there. Motion to adjourn has been made. Is there a second? He's, an he's not an employee. Favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries.